Yes, so this is a throwback to <laughs> mural done earlier last year, well actually one year ago. So I decided to put all the footage together and create this video, you know, just to show what it was like. Um, we started out using spray, spray paint. For the first time actually I was exploring spray paint as a medium to create a mural. And as you can see, very wacky at first, just spraying on random lines, getting the composition outlined across the wall, you know, putting in the elements here and there, experimented a bit with the black and the yellow, and then I started refining. Decided to put in the cheetah with some green, you know, just to distinguish the colors, and then I dropped in the angel, and I wrote my philosophy, knowledge is infinite, so is power. So as you can see, I'm spraying away, you know, having fun, putting lines here and there. And then I decided to do some work on the cheetah, putting in some highlights with that yellow. And it's going pretty good. This was probably the best part of, you know, doing this mural for me, um, in terms of using the spray paints to execute. And then I decided to put in the contour of the rainbow. Then there was a little incident. I saw a very bright orange. And it was pretty cool. It was a nice color. It turned out it was Thousand's skin tone for his um, figure. He was doing a mural just a few blocks from me. And there he is. <laughs> he took his um, skin tone and he went out. Back to painting, just filling in some background. Jordan came by, he was asking, you know, why am I working all over the place? As he always asks, I told him, and yeah, just putting in the composition pretty much. Here I am again, after a little break, singing, and you know, at least trying to sing. First class. And then walk to work. Walk to work. At this point, decided to finish up. The other colors in the rainbow and I think I was working with green which was the last color along the base there I'm working a bit slowly just getting the lines right and laughing and joking yeah decided to put the green at the last line to match the grass which is on the ground which I thought you know might work always experimenting then it was time to put in the colors for the forms the platonic solids so we have the tetrahedron there on the right followed by the cube then the octahedron followed by the icosahedron and then the biggest of them all the dodecahedron on the extreme left filling in that blue this was quite fun to get that form and to create that sense of tone lighting and fill in some more colors spray paint was pretty good i mixed in some paint just to get the variation in terms of the tone and voila there it was you know, made some corrections the form wasn't so right didn't really do any measurement but you know eventually i did some corrections Fine tuning the background, making it darker, and then I started working on the angel. As you can see, I'm having fun with the spray paint, mixed in with some painting with a brush. That went well, and I liked it. I like the idea. Um, decided to make him a Rasta angel, you know. Give him locks and you know tweak it a bit from the typical conception or illustrations um, of course the wings on the back is very very much reminiscent of what has been established before experimented a bit with the wings putting some dark colors and light and then decided to go in with some brown give it that strong and I, again I decided to do it a bit different didn't go with the white wings decided to make it like a an eagle's wing a brown bald eagle's wing 
and then a little more detail then I decided to work on the figure here you see the running figure which of course is myself at least in the conceptual sense as a sprinter and then fine tuning and here we are working on the cheetah now so this was probably the most fun part of the entire composition for me you know using the black spray paint and then using the brush and fine tuning you know doing enough not too much detailing but just enough to get it to a certain level and there you can see it's pretty good and then the globe this is also symbolic of man's journey man's quest to go beyond the earth to strive towards a higher height and there is mars on the extreme left got some help from jordan here with the earth and yeah i hope you enjoy this is the meal